You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for false Solomon seal, Mayanthemum racemosum. In the spring, the stems of false Solomon seal arise with their unfolding leaves. The leaves unfurl along each one to three foot arching stem. Flower buds grow at the tip of the stem. Flowers bloom during late spring. False Solomon seal can be found throughout North America. Mayanthemum racemosum, subspecies racemosum, grows in the middle and eastern parts of North America, while subspecies Implexicol grows in the western regions. Reportedly, the western form has longer flower clusters and shorter leaves than the eastern form. Also, Amplexicol means clasping, so we'd expect to see clasping leaves on the western form. This plant portrait focuses on subspecies Racemosum. By early summer, the berries are developing. They ripen during the summer months. In late summer and early fall, the leaves turn yellow before dying. Let's look closely at phases and characteristics of false Solomon seal. The non-branching stems arise from rhizomes in the spring. The leaves grow along the stem and the expanding tip. Even while the leaves are still expanding to reach their mature size and shape, the tip of the stem begins to grow the flower buds. Sometimes the developing inflorescence is small, and sometimes it is larger and longer. The inflorescence grows terminally at the tip of the arching stem. Moving closer to the developing inflorescence, see how each flower grows along a small branch, which in turn grows from a central stalk. Focus on just one flower bud, which now looks like a green flower with six petals around a central green pistil. These are not the flowers, yet. As the flowers begin blooming, the green buds turn into white flowers. The blooming inflorescence is located at the tip of the plant. Sometimes it droops downward, and sometimes it extends in the same direction as the already established stem. The species name is Racemosum, so we'd expect the inflorescence to be a raceme of flowers which is a single elongated stem of flowers, each with its own pedicel. However, false Solomon seal has a panicle of flowers, which means the flowers grow as a branched racemose inflorescence. Field guides usually refer to this plant's flowers as being in a pyramid shape. The inflorescence blooms from the bottom, nearest the base of the plant, upwards to the furthest extension of the plant. The tip of this inflorescence has flower buds which have changed from green to creamy white. Further down, we can now see that the six green petals have become six creamy white stamens, which develop yellow anthers at their fullest extension. Within this visually confusing mass, each flower consists of six tiny white tepals, six stamens, and one pistil. Keep in mind, the entire flower is about three to six millimeters across, or about one six to one quarter inch. This image shows how groups of flowers grow along each branch of the panicle. This panicle has flowers to the left, which have finished blooming, while the flowers to the right are at their peak. Now the flowers become the berries. As the tiny berries become established, we can see bits of remaining flower parts attached around the berries. The berries quickly grow larger and are green or yellow-green in color. Not all the flowers were fertilized. Some inflorescences do not develop any berries at all. As the false Solomon seal berries mature and ripen, they become spotted with red. The spots of red grow larger, covering more of the berry, until the berry turns a bright red in late summer or early fall months. 
False Solomon's seal has leaves which grow alternately along its single stem. Frequently, the stem has a zigzag pattern to it, as it slightly changes direction between each leaf node. Here's a close view of the zigzag stem from the underside of the leaves. Notice how the stem is smooth and wiry. Also observe the point of attachment of each leaf to the stiff stem. And from the top of the leaves, again we can see a strong, smooth stem and the sessel leaf attachment. Each light green leaf is elliptic in shape, with a pointed tip and a smooth or entire margin. The venation is parallel, with three primary veins within the leaf. All three primary veins and other parallel veins are clearly visible on the underside of the leaf. The underside tends to look more shiny than the top of the leaf. False Solomon seal leaves turn from green to yellow to brown during late summer months. The strong, wiry stems also turn a dark brown, almost black. Eventually, the green leaves become silvery brown along the black stems and inconspicuous among other green vegetation in the fall. The plant may also have some red berries which have yet to be found and eaten by birds. The berries contain the seeds which are dispersed by birds or small mammals to new locations. Once established, the false Solomon seal rhizome grows stronger and usually creates a cluster of plants. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Mayanthemum racemosum, also known as false Solomon seal. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of false Solomon seal, for a blog post comparing false Solomon seal with Solomon seal, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.